Storms coming through tomorrow. It's going to be an active next 36 yeah. hours or so. We've got storms in the forecast all the way through Tuesday morning. Let's get right to it. Flash flood watch is in effect from 5 o'clock Monday morning through 5 a.m. Tuesday morning for the potential for heavy rains throughout central Indiana. Unfortunately, information we don't need, and you can see computer models painting on through Tuesday morning. Another one to three inches of rain generally with localized higher amounts. I wouldn't be surprised if we had some four or even five inch amounts before Tuesday morning is over. Right now across central Indiana, things are relatively quiet. We've got a front that's stalled just on the southwest side of the state where some clouds are developing. But what we are watching right now is a complex of storms beginning to move out of Minnesota and into western Wisconsin, still about 480 miles away from Indianapolis, but these will keep moving to the south and east and all computer models are projecting this moves into Indiana uh, later tomorrow morning into early afternoon. In fact, you'll see on future view how it brings this cluster of storms into central Indiana between 10 o'clock and around noon and then should move quickly out of here by around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. With this initial line of storms coming in, this is our main storm threats. Of course, a lot of lightning, also the potential for some damaging winds as well as flash flooding. Also, not out of the question, we could have some hail as well as even a few isolated tornadoes uh, will be possible with that line. The Storm Prediction Center does have a slight or I should say a moderate risk for severe weather from Chicago down to Indianapolis, including Cincinnati and Louisville, and that does include most of central Indiana. Now during the afternoon after that first line passes through, we may be able to get the atmosphere to destabilize enough with some sunshine uh, to make things very unstable and we'll be able to see individual discrete thunderstorms developing during the afternoon. Where I think the best chance for that will be happening would be between one o'clock and four o'clock for this area shaded in red. Generally up across far northwestern Indiana, north of Lafayette, northwest of Peru. By later in the afternoon, between 4 o'clock and we'll call, say, 9 o'clock, from Kokomo to Noblesville to Indianapolis down to Nashville and west will be another chance, well, probably the best time of day for that to happen across the western half of the state. Now, what kind of things could we see out of storms that develop during the, the uh, late afternoon and into the evening? Well, of course, a lot of lightning will be possible, a pretty good threat of damaging winds. We also can't rule out the chance for large hail, especially with individual cells, and there could be a few tornadoes across the state as we go throughout the afternoon and especially into the early evening. Here's future view starting at 3 o'clock. Notice once the line passes through, we start to clear out across central Indiana. Tomorrow's one of those days. Sunshine is not a good thing during the afternoon. And then a line of storms moving in perhaps by around 7 o'clock in the evening. These then dive off to the south. Again, along that line, we could see some heavy rain as well as damaging, damaging winds. And out of the question, we could see a few tornadoes. So here's the bottom line. Three rounds to deal with. The first round is from 10 o'clock till uh, tomorrow morning through around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The main threat being damaging winds as well as the potential for flash flooding out of heavy rain. A second round potentially developing between 5 o'clock and 9 o'clock, and a lot of that will depend upon the first round and how slow it is to move out of the state. If we see some sunshine, though, the potential for damaging winds, large hail, uh, a few tornadoes, and even heavy rain will be de a definite possibility through the evening. And then overnight, especially early Tuesday morning, we'll have another chance for some damaging winds as well as heavy rain with the potential for some flash flooding. We're also going to have to watch out for the chance for some power outages as we have a lot of damaging wind. You can see our computer model suggesting the best chance for that would be out into Illinois and right along the Illinois Indiana state line. Right now temperature is sitting in the upper 60s to mid 70s. Overnight will drop into the upper 60s to lower 70s. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the middle to upper 80s. So for tonight in Indianapolis we'll see our temperature dropping down to 71 degrees with the chance for storms late tomorrow morning uh, developing through the noon hour. We'll see a high temperature of 87 degrees if we see some sunshine by late afternoon. That's when we'll see another round of thunderstorms developing. Here's your seven day forecast for central Indiana. Keep a chance for rain in the forecast much of the week. Wednesday looks dry, but more rain Thursday, Friday, and then much warmer as we head towards the weekend. All right, John, you guys will be.